Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Unboxing a Brand. This is Shirley. If this is your first time here, this channel is all about unboxings and reviews. Today we're taking a look at two of the most popular quarterly subscription boxes. One is called Cause Box, and the other is called FabBitFun. This is actually my first time ordering from both of these companies and I wanted to do a comparison of the two boxes. Okay, before we begin, I'll give you a quick rundown of these two boxes. Cosbox costs about $54.95 a month and if you subscribe by the year, it's, it costs about $200. And FabFitFun costs about $50 a month and if you order by the year, the price is about $180. So there's a tiny bit of a price difference between these two boxes. For both of these boxes, there's a perk for yearly subscribers for Cosbox you get to choose some of the colors and the products that you get versus FabFitFun or also known as FFF. I'm going to be calling that from now on in this video because it's, it's a tongue twister <laughs> to say. If you're a first time subscriber to FFF, the first hour that you subscribe, I believe there are three different sets of products that you can choose your products from and that's what I did here. And a little bit more about the company themselves. Cosbox is a certified B corporation which means that they're very transparent about their business practices and the brands that they work with are also very transparent about how they source their products and where they're made and how they're made etc. And FFF on the other hand supports various foundations and for instance for the spring 2019 box they've partnered up with the Ian Somerhalder Foundation. Um, I believe he's an actor. I'm not too familiar in the work that he does um, but fun fact a few classmates of mine were in Vegas once for a school trip and they saw him at the airport. Um, I didn't see him personally, but I was like, oh, that's kind of cool, a celebrity. <laughs> All right, one other thing about Causebox is that their name is called Causebox. So for every product that they put in their box, the product themselves support a cause. And that's the fact for every single product that comes in this box. And FFF, on the other hand, has different partnerships with celebrities each quarter. And this quarter, the celebrity was Venus Williams and believe she developed a set of exercises based around a jump rope that she helped create. Um, that some members will get in their box. FFF also has what's called FFF TV and you can go online and they have different episodes about how people use these products. So Venus Williams, for example, she actually filmed a couple videos to show you how to work out using the jump rope that, that she helped create for this box. Uh, Causebox, as far as I know, does not have like a TV web tv kind of thing going on but they do have a web magazine and and they go into detail a little bit more about the different causes that they support on their website so for spring 2019 causebox actually released a full unboxing video which gives viewers a full spoiler into what you're going to be getting in the box um, like i mentioned earlier if you are not a yearly subscriber you don't get to choose the colors but if you watch the video you kind of get a sense of exactly what you'll be getting for fff on the other hand as far as i know they did didn't really have an unboxing video and that's um, kind of something that I wish they did have because I saw one of their ads and it was a little bit confusing as to what I would be receiving as a new subscriber. Two of the items that I really wanted that I saw from the ad I thought I would be getting but apparently I didn't read the fine print and I didn't actually get those items and uh, I'll go into detail a little bit more once I compare the products side by side. Both of these boxes also come with a welcome box or a starter kit. For a cause box this box actually sells out out a few weeks into the season but after that they launch what's called a welcome box and that's sort of a best of cause box curation that they put together um, I've never ordered that box before but I from what I heard I think the the price is the same as a full price box, so it'll be $54.95. And then for FFF, on the other hand, whenever you sign up, each person actually has three welcome boxes that you can send to your friends. So what you do is just you put in their email and then you send it their way through FFF and all they have to do is pay for shipping, which I believe is only around $5. And in that box that they get, of course, it's gonna be a little bit smaller, but it's full size products. Before we go into the products, I just kind of wanna let you know what my preferences are and what my lifestyle is like. Just so that you can understand why I chose the items in between these boxes. As far as beauty and makeup goes, I will consider myself a pretty low maintenance beauty person. I usually have just a few things of makeup that I put on every day. And uh, as far as hair or body, besides lotion, I don't really use that much products. I've recently just started to use argan oil in my hair, but this was like 
a week ago. So usually I don't style my hair. I don't really, I don't use a lot of excessive hair products. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at for makeup and beauty. As far as the lifestyle, I have been trying to be a little bit more active. That's part of the reason why I wanted to try out FFF is because I wanted to see what type of fitness products that they have in the box. One of my resolutions for 2019 is to shop a little bit more ethically. So I've completely stopped shopping at fast fashion stores like Forever 21, H&M, Zara, and stuff like that. And I've been a little bit more mindful in finding companies that are more ethical in terms of their business practices and how they source their products and how they're made, etc. So that's actually why I decided to subscribe to Causebox. And lastly, I consider myself to be a pretty practical person. I'm sure you guys have heard about Marie Kondo and how she teaches people to declutter their life through asking whether or not their products spark joy for them. She's been really big in the headlines, especially in the beginning of the year because she had her new Netflix series out. Uh, and I've read her book about two, two or three years ago and I've been really trying to put that into practice. I haven't been able to clean my entire house yet, but I kind of do a category by category. And for the things that I get in these boxes, I'm just really mindful of whether or not it sparks joy for me and whether or not I really need it in my life. So that's kind of how I use to judge the comparisons of these two brands. All right, enough talking. Let's take a look at what I got in both of these boxes. And I'm gonna be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the products that I think are kind of close in category. And I'll let you know by the end of the video whether or not I decide to subscribe to another season for either of these boxes. By comparing the size of the boxes from 2019, FFF is slightly bigger and Causebox is a little bit smaller. Both of these boxes, I believe, came in two different colorways. And both of these boxes have prints on the inside so that you can easily turn the box inside out if you like. And for my Causebox unboxing video, which I'll link over here, I show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to turn your box inside out if that's something that you're looking into do. Um, all right, so let's have a look at FFS inside. So there's also a really bright print on the inside. And of course, you can turn these inside out if you like, keep it for storage, save it for when you're shipping something out to somebody. Etc. We'll start off by looking at the catalogs that came in each box. So this is the one for Causebox and this is the one for FFF. Obviously this one is a little bit bigger in size. Uh, as far as content goes, the Good News catalog from Causebox tells you about the designers and the makers of each product and where, they're, where they come from and they also include images of how you can use your products. And at the end of the book, they also have a coupon page where, where you can reorder from the brands that they featured in the box with their discount codes. And FFF has Venus Williams on the cover. And they have a little bit more information in their catalog. For instance, they have um, recipes by Giada. They showcase how you can wear some of the products that you get in here as well. And I think uh, towards the end of the booklet, there's a, there's a crossword puzzle and also horoscopes. I found that to be kind of fun. Yeah, I mean, so this is kind of more like a real magazine. I guess this is something you can take on the plane with you if you wanted to and just have a deep dive into the magazine. So for comparison out of these two, I think I would prefer this magazine over this one just because it has a little bit more activities. This season, both boxes had nine items inside and I'll start with the larger items. For Causebox, we received this portfolio clutch um, that has a lot of pockets and you can. it also fits, I believe, a 13-inch laptop or uh, an, an iPad and it's made of vegan leather and this is actually what really drew me into this box. So for FFF, like I mentioned earlier, you had a choice between three sets of different products. So for the, the first item, you got to choose between a robe, a backpack, or a aromatherapy diffuser. And I went ahead and chose the aromatherapy diffuser, and this is what it looks like. It came in an additional box, and it also came with a bottle of essential oil that's kind of just like an orange scent, and this is what it looks like. It's very small and it works off of a USB cord. So I guess it's small enough that you can bring it with you if you're traveling. So to compare the large items in this box between a portfolio clutch and a aromatherapy diffuser, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Just because this is what caught my attention in the very beginning when I saw the spoilers and I, I just really had to get this because it's just so cute. Um, so Causebox wins for this item. Okay, and the next set of items I'm comparing from these boxes is a silky scarf from Causebox. So the scarf came in three different patterns, and if you're an early subscriber, you can choose which color 
or which pattern that you wanted. And for FFF, the next set of items that you can choose were these sunglasses, a picnic set, or a vitamin C brightening sleeping facial. When I signed up, um, they were already out of these pair of glasses, so I went ahead and chose this one. And this is what it looks like. It comes in a travel pouch, and these are the glasses. So I try them on, and I'm not sure if I like the style because I think they're a little bit too big. For this one, I'm choosing the scarf because it's so versatile and I just love this color. And there's different ways you can use it and it's just really soft. So for this set of items, I choose Causebox. Next up is a plant hanger from Causebox. This is what the plant hanger looks like. You can hang fruit bowls or plants either from a curtain rod or on your ceiling. And the next set of items that you got to choose from FFF are either measuring spoons, a body lotion or a mystery item. And I went ahead and chose the measuring spoons. Uh, and then the measuring spoons, I didn't read the fine print when I first ordered them. I thought these were copper measuring spoons, but it turns out that they're just copper coated. And on the back of the spoon, it says hand wash only. Um, in my household, we never remember what's only hand washable and what's machine washable. So I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping these. Um, I was a little disappointed that they were only copper coated. So I don't know about the quality of these spoons and I don't wanna find out later on that they're not good quality. So these spoons are actually, I think a brand from Giada herself. Um, I think it's called like Yachi or something. I don't know. I can't speak Italian. So comparing these two items, I once again chose Causebox. These are pretty, but they're just, I don't know about the quality. The next set of items are the jewelry items that I got in both of these boxes. I'm actually wearing the one that I got from Causebox. It's like a moon and star bracelet. The other version was like a key bracelet and yearly subscribers got to choose which one they wanted. For FFF, so this is what, what was really confusing is because they have different color codes for these boxes. Anything in this pink section, anybody could have chosen from. So either if you're a monthly or a yearly member. Uh, however, on the back, and this is a light purple color, you can only choose these items if you are a yearly subscriber. And I didn't know that. So for the options that you get, uh, you get either a necklace, a powder, a setting powder or a swell bottle. Um, this is the part that I didn't read the fine print on. I really wanted the swell bottle, but because I'm not a yearly member, I couldn't choose that and I ended up getting this necklace instead. It's silver in color and there's a little bit of a pearlescent detail going on on the other side. I don't know if you can see that. My first impression was that like this looks really cheap. So, so between the Causebox bracelet and the necklace, obviously I chose Causebox once again because I've been wearing this for a couple of days now and I'm very happy with it. The next set of items are bath related. So from Causebox, we got this Conjac sponge. I don't know if that's the way you pronounce it. I've been actually using it for a few days now. That's why it looks like this. It's, it's shriveled up a bit. It, it's usually like this big when it's in its original form. When it's wet, it also expands a little bit, but this is basically a really soft um, face cleaning sponge. And I, I really, really enjoy it. It makes my skin really soft. Um, and then from FFF, if you're a yearly member, you got to choose between a face, face cleanser, a dry brush, or a jump rope. And again, I didn't read the fine print and I was really expecting to be getting the jump rope and I didn't get it. Instead, I got the daily detox massaging brush. I would consider myself to have pretty sensitive skin and this was just something that I really did not want. Um, and I remember looking online when I signed up, I was like, oh, I, I hope I don't get that because I don't, I'm never going to use it. Um, and so, and dry brushing just doesn't sound very pleasant at all. And <laughs> I don't want to try that. And the bristles for this brush, actually the one they sent me is, is vigorous. And it's like, no, I, I, I don't, I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, so I think the answer is obvious here between the two, between the two boxes, I'm choosing Cosbox again, because this I've actually been using for the past week. And I'm um, actually have a nighttime routine video with, with some of the products that I got from Cosbox. I'll make sure to link it here if you're interested in, in watching it. Okay. So the next item from Cosbox is this Mist Congeniality Elixir Spray. It's a rose scented spray that you can spray on your face after washing or you can kind of spray your face throughout the day if you need like a little quick pick-me-up versus a leave-in conditioner from FFF. 
I really wanted to like this product. This is a leave-in conditioner for your hair. And I've heard a lot of good things about this company. I don't really know how you pronounce it. I don't want to butcher their name. But uh, I tried it and the smell was just so overpowering that I, I don't think I can use this. Um, it was just way too strong. I could smell it even now a little bit and I sprayed it yesterday. So I don't think I'm gonna be keeping this one. So for these two, I'm choosing Cosbox once again. I forgot to mention, but the beauty products that you get from FFF, every single box gets the same thing. You don't really get to choose. Everybody gets the same here. So for comparisons, the next item from Cosbox is this brightening mask and it's made from bamboo and it's like an exfoliating scrub. I've tried this twice already and I really enjoy the smell. It has a very, very light citrus scent and I didn't find it to be too rough on my face. So I really like this. And I'm comparing this with the Dr. Brandt No More Baggage ID Puffing Gel. So this comes in a little tube like this and the color of the gel is actually salmon colored and it's supposed to help you with the bags that are underneath your eyes and it and also it helps with dark circles. If I had to personally choose between these products that I got, I'm going to go with the Cosbox item once again, just because um, I don't really find the need for this at this moment. Although I can keep it and use it when I do need it, I just feel like it's gonna be tucked away somewhere and I'm gonna forget about it. So Cosbox wins again. All right, the next set of items from Cosbox is this Bamboo Lyosil Eye Mask. And this mask is available, I believe in five different colors and I got this white one. And then from Fat Fit Fun, there is a champagne charcoal body scrub. Obviously from the looks of these two items, this one probably looks like it has a little bit more value. The mask, actually, uh, I don't have the original packaging, but this mask is a little bit too tight on me. I have a slightly sensitive head. And so if I wear anything on my head for, for too long, I get a little bit of headache. So this mask was actually, unfortunately, a little bit too small for me. And for this champagne charcoal scrub, I'm really not a body scrub kind of person. And I actually didn't open this all the way because I have the intention of gifting it or maybe selling it. Just because from some of the other items that I got from this box, I think the fragrance is just too strong for me personally and I don't want to open it and then not be able to use it. So as far as these two items, I really can't choose between one or the other because I don't see myself using either one. So I guess it's a tie. And the last item in Cosbox is this postcard. It's designed by the same artist that designed the cover of the box and you can either send it to your friend or you can also frame it as a piece of art versus FFF sent you a Hello Fresh gift card worth $50. Although it's a gift card, you actually have to spend some money in order to use it because it says $25 off of your first two deliveries. So for both of these, these deliveries, this gift card will only cover $25. And to me, honestly, this just seems like an ad that they just kind of threw in there. Um, and I personally have tried HelloFresh before and I didn't really like it that much. So for these two options, I'm definitely choosing Cosbox once again. All right, so that was a side-by-side -side comparison of the spring 2019 Cosbox and the spring 2019 FabFitFun box. These are obviously just my personal opinions. I'm not sponsored by either company. This is my first time trying both of these boxes and I just really wanted to see what I got in each box. If I had to choose between these two subscriptions and which one to extend, just based off of the spring 2019 boxes alone, I think I'm going to go with Cosbox. One other thing I did want to mention is that on Facebook, there are a lot of community pages based around both of these subscription boxes and you can ask to join the group and on there you can buy, trade or sell your items, which is unfortunately what I'm going to have to do with some of the stuff that I got here, um, just because I know for a fact that I'm not going to use it and some of the products I don't really feel comfortable gifting to somebody. So I'm gonna see if I can either sell them or trade it for something else from another season. I was honestly a little bit disappointed in when I got in the FabFitFun box, but like I mentioned earlier, I was a little bit confused as to what I was gonna be getting. And I think my expectations didn't really meet reality, which is why I was so disappointed in this box. I do, however, wanna take a look at their welcome box. I'm actually thinking about sending the welcome box from FFF to my husband and one of my friends, just so that I can see and really compare what kind of products will be in that box. If I do decide to order the welcome box from FFF. Um, I'm gonna see if I can film the unboxing and share it with you guys as well. All right guys, so that was FabFitFun versus Cosbox Spring 2019. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful to you. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. I have a lot of unboxings coming up that I'm really excited to be showing you guys. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram, so don't forget to check me out there as well. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.